Hi Diana, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson today. So down the line, the lines were quite good where the club head was. Just we're struggling to uh, to make consistent contact, i.e. consistent distance. And because the contact is a bit iffy, the uh, direction can be a little bit out as well. So just drawing a line over your head here. And we can see here as you start the takeaway, head's really moving away uh, from that red line. I love the turn here with the legs but I need to keep that head on that line. And we can see now when you actually get to the top, I mean, we're a long, long way off that line. And I feel you're just trying to maybe turn too much or trying to create a lot of power with the turn, but that's actually making you lose power because now if we look at your left arm, we can see it's quite bent. If we look at this guy here on the right, you'll see when he's at the top, his head's still on that line. And look how straight that left arm is. Now, his swing's a lot shorter than yours, and that's purely because he's uh, he's not trying to overturn. So I need you to keep that head on that red line. When you come down, you'll see that you do a good job of trying to get back to it. But it means there has to be a lot of movement from this position here, if we draw a line through the middle of your head, back to there. It's a lot of timing has to go into it. And you can see, even when you come to make contact with the ball there, your head's still just a little bit to the left of that line. If we look at this guy here, as he comes down, you'll see his head wants to go just slightly in front of that line. So he's hitting down into the back of the ball, and we can see that evidently there with the shaft lean, where yours, I know it's a little bit blurry, but he's like so. So it's just a bit scoopy, a little bit behind the ball, and it's purely, I feel, because the head is moving too much. And then we gave you some drills trying to catch the ground, but if we watch this ball take off, you'll see here that you sort of lift the ball off the ground. There's no scarring of the grass, no divot, where if we look at this guy here down here and that's a bit blurry but you'll see a big chunky divot just flying off sorry just there look how far in front that was as well compared to where his ball was here's the golf ball and look at where the divot starts he really hits down there's the ball down and through and that divot starts obviously right there so that four inch point past the ball like i was saying to you so keep the head still shorter turn or less of a turn and then for me, just trying to feel like you hit down and through the ball as opposed to picking it up will make a big difference. Thank you.